Now let's create a dashboard. To get started, click on the Create Dashboard button. We have three dashboard types to choose from. The Periodic Dashboard, which is the most commonly used, allows you to report daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. To save you some time, Dashthis has created some preset templates, some of them for a single integration, some for multiple different integrations, by specific strategies like SEO or social media, or market types like restaurants, medical clinics, and more. These templates can be customized by adding or removing integrations and KPIs based on your specific needs. The second type of dashboard available is the campaign dashboard. As its name suggests, it's typically used to isolate and highlight a specific campaign. It also allows you to select a custom date range. And finally, the rolling dashboard type follows a trend on an ongoing basis through three different date ranges. Now let's see how easy it is to create a dashboard and customize it. The dashboard name could be the name of your client or the name of the team that the report needs to be sent to. You could even reference the time period that's mentioned in the report. If you'd like, you also have the option to change the language and currency. You can also password protect the dashboard if you'd like, but this is optional. The next step is to choose the integrations you'd like to use in the dashboard. By clicking on each of them, you will be presented with a drop-down menu, allowing you to choose between all the data sources you manage from this account. You can add as many integrations as you need in a dashboard to get a complete overview of all your channels and as many sources as you need. You can still use templates even if you don't have access to all the integrations it contains. Here, we'll just confirm that we want to continue.